What's up everyone, Lovely Sharma here on my channel Tech God and uh, today what we have here is Kingston's Mobile Lite Wireless G3. This is the non-pro version so keep in mind that there is a pro version available in the market but as of today we are reviewing the non-pro version. So the device starts with its hardware, it's a very interesting hardware, it has an SD card slot and a full size USB port which is very hard to see these days because of USB-C and uh, the device hardware extends to the power button an LED and a micro USB port for charging the device because the device also acts as a power bank when it is charged. So the other side of the device also has an Ethernet port which is very interesting. You can convert the device into a Wi-Fi router if you have access to Ethernet in your hotel room and everything. So it's perfect for traveling. And the other side of the device is fairly simple without any ports and branding. The bottom of the device has all the serial number, MAC address and all the certifications that it needs. Now usage of the device is fairly simple, very easy to use. You just keep pressing the power button for 5 seconds and you'll see two LEDs light up. One is for power of the device and one is for indicating that the Wi-Fi of the device is on. So you can connect two types of devices, one is an SD card and second is a USB device. So I'm connecting my Strontium 16GB uh, USB to the device and it's very simple to connect and you'll see that uh, it powers up in 5 to 6 seconds and you can leave the device now and you don't have to do anything on the device everything is on your smartphone now you need to have android or ios because the app of the device that it needs to work with is available on these two platforms only as of today now go to the play store or app store download this app called mobile light wireless and open it for the first time you need to set up the password and everything if you want but I have done that already. Now the device supports two bands, 5GHz band and a 2.4GHz band. 5GHz band is faster so I prefer using that. So just make sure you're not connected to the internet of your home and connected to the device itself. So I've renamed my device to Lovelyish uh, 5G and 3G. So I am connected to the 5G, I have checked it and let me show you how to backup your contacts. Now go to device, go to backup and restore and go to Android to uh, backup device and choose your device for example I've uh, selected my USB and your contacts will be backed up and that is the bug in the device which you'll see right now and this is a bug in the app which can be fixed easily fixed with a update but as of today it exists and every time you back up your contacts this thing uh, these artifacts show up in the app but the device itself is really uh, you know nice to use and what it does it does really well so let me show you how to transfer data from your phone to the device connected to the mobile light wireless. So I'm transferring this PDF, copy it and paste it into the uh, USB drive or SD card that you have connected to the device and it will be uh, done in seconds. Now this time which will take is uh, specifically you know uh, depends upon the size of the file and you can also stream data from it. So data flows two ways, you can write data onto it and you can stream data from it. So this is a uh, movie, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, you may have heard of it and it plays really well without any stutters. So as you can see it's a really nice uh, you know, device and if you like the video like it, if you didn't like it hit the dislike button and let me know what you think of the device in the comments down below.